Hello, 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 and welcome back for episode 12 of the Shipwreck series. In the last episode, we unlocked five new chunks, with the last chunk making us use our first teleport, which lands us directly in the middle of the Verrock Square. While some of the other chunks like the Ham Hideout and Draenor Village North may seem like dead chunks, you never know what item sources are in those chunks that are going to unlock a brutal grind later. Now that we have Lumbridge, which gives us access to the canoe system, and we have already unlocked the Varrock Square, which gives us the four adjacent chunks, there are really just too many chunks to go over. So I'm not going to try to cover what each of these chunks mean. We're just going to get into the roll and then we'll talk about what it means when we know what we're doing. The only chunk I do want to highlight is the one that is off screen right now. Since in the last episode, we unlocked the Corsair Cove chunk. We can now unlock Corsair South Shore Chunk, which is the only chunk adjacent to it that is available in free-to-play. And this chunk does actually represent a large grind for us because the Shaman Cave is there, so we would have to complete the Shaman Drop Table, one of free-to-play's biggest endgame content grinds. But let's not linger anymore, let's get into the live chunk roll and reaction. The East Lumbridge Swamp. My heart skipped a beat there for just a second. I thought that was the West Lumbridge Swamp. Whew, that was close. That would have been a real pain in the butt. Instead, we find ourselves with four chunk tasks. Complete a quest, kill a big frog, a frog, and a giant frog. This will be another quick one, and we will find ourselves back on the chunk picker before you know it. I busted out my best ranged equipment and went to take on these frogs. While it's not amazing, this is actually a pretty decent free-to-play training spot, and the giant frogs make up probably the best free-to-play training for prayer, since their hit points are somewhat low and they do drop big bones, and they can be safe spotted. Nice to have an improved prayer training method in the back pocket. I did a quick speed run of Miscellan Mysteries. This doesn't open any new content for us, but it does give us a quest point, which, as I've mentioned before, always feels good on a chunk locked account. That chunk does not gain us access to any new chunks, so we're back with the same options minus the one we just rolled. Let's see what's in store for us next. Here we go. The Wizard's Tower, number 12. Oh yeah, I know there's at least one interesting thing here. That is the lesser demon that is up in the top of the Wizard's Tower, so we will get our first piece of rune gear finally, in the form of a 1 and 120 drop rune med helm from that lesser demon. He also has a mithril chain body, just for fun. Luckily, lesser demons don't have coal on their drop table, so we don't have to get level 68 smithing, and we get to dodge that mithril plate body grind for a little bit longer. We'll be able to get the amulet of accuracy and complete imp catcher and rune mysteries. So, this is a pretty cool chunk allows me to finish off a lot of really great free-to-play end game goals. Little gear upgrade, like I said, first piece of rune. It's only a med helm, but it's always exciting. And I'll be able to put my rune shop to use because I will probably use magic, although I could go ranged. But yeah, let's get down into this chunk and see what this grind is all about. Two things before we head over to the new chunk. I had a clue scroll, so I wanted to see if I could snag a casket, and I did. Not sure what's wrong with the audio in the clip, but here it is. Cheeky little two-step casket here. Pretty sweet. Let's open it up and see what we got. Oh my lord, the amulet of defense tea. That is a nasty pull. Shortly after that, I had this wholesome moment that I thought was worth sharing.
Last order of business before I make my way down to the wizard's tower is to get some cash in the pocket. I would like to buy some runes, some chaos runes specifically, so that I can use wind bolt on the lesser demon. As you would expect, as a free-to-play chunk locked account, I have no real good money makers, so I noted up all of the iron plate bodies from the smithing grind and all of the unstrung amulets from the crafting grind. I would then sell five iron plate bodies to Horvik, walk down to the general store, sell five unstrung amulets, hop worlds, sell amulets, back up to Horvix, sell plate bodies, rinse and repeat, all in all, I ended up with about 45k to spend on runes, which I know is not a special amount of gold, but for my specific circumstance, it actually was pretty substantial. As always, we must first remove the ominous gray barrier to signify that we have officially unlocked the chunk. And there it is. I'm going to take a quick look around to make sure there's nothing I'm forgetting here, and then I'm going to knock the quest out because I like doing quests on chunk locked accounts, and then we'll tackle the lesser demon. In here in the basement of the wizard's tower, checking off one more item from the list. We finished Rune Mysteries, super simple quest gives us access to the rune essence mine which doesn't do much for us now and honestly just creates pesky grinds in the future but it's done quite a bold line here we just walk up to this wizard mizgog and we're like give me a quest and he's like i don't even know what you're talking about but we're gonna keep being persistent and it turns out he has a little quest called Imp Catcher, which happens to be one of our chunk tasks. It's a super simple quest. It's so simple. What did he just say? Oh, right. <laughs> He's confused because I knew that he was going to ask for these beads. So I showed up with them. And look at that. We are going to complete the quest right after we start it. I didn't remember there being a cutscene here, so let's see what goes on. Looks like a little magic magic. Oh, 800 magic XP, the amulet of accuracy, and another quest point, putting us up to six and completing yet another chunk task. Right after finishing Imp Catcher, we hopped on back over to the Lesser Demon, since that, I believe, is the only thing I really have left to do in this chunk, complete the drop table. And that should be everything, as part of the drop table here is the Rune Med Helm, which would give me my only skilling task to wear rune armor. It would give me the best in slot rune med helm that I need. And I just got the amulet of accuracy from finishing that quest. The two quests are complete. So yeah, it is just this drop table left. I ran out of chaos runes and I ran out of money to buy chaos runes. So for now, I'm going to work through the mine runes that I had saved up in the bank and use my law runes very scarcely because I don't have a good source of lol or chaos runes right now, and I don't have a great money maker. So hopefully these 2000 mine runes will be enough to get me that rune med helm and I won't have to try to do money making in with these chunks because I cannot imagine that I have anything half decent. I'm, I mean, high alking is probably the best thing that I can do, but I don't have a good source of nature runes. I'm not even sure if I have any in the bank. And if I do, it would be such a small amount. And I guess killing like ice warriors for mithril square shields or something, that's like probably my best money maker right now, which is really bad. So hopefully we don't have to resort to money making and we can just get the rune med helm shortly but you will know 
how painful the grind ends up being because I will put it in the video. So that's all there is to say for now. Let's see how the luck goes. I knew it was going to be today, I could just feel it, and maybe the high kill count helps on the 228th Lester Demon kill. We finally get the last drop that we need, the Rune Med Helm, and I have two Law Runes left. I've been using them sparingly, but almost not sparingly enough. And... Here comes the last chunk task, and look at that, the first piece of rune equipment for the account. Pretty sweet upgrade. Um, it'll help me, obviously, for any future combat grinds. And as far as free-to-play goes, I don't think I'll be upgrading this until Obor or Briefofita. And... Obviously, I can't do a Dragon Slayer quite yet. We are getting relatively close to having the chunks needed, but still probably a good bit off that. And I think there actually is a quest point requirement now that I think of it. So, yeah, here is one of the few rune pieces of armor that I will have for the foreseeable future. And at the same time, completing the chunk which always feels good. All right, let's see what the wheel has for us today. The Lumbridge Mill. Can't remember exactly what was here, but I remember it was not a lot. Complete sheep cheer, kill a duckling, kill a farmer, you know what that means. Gonna go bust out those tasks real quick, and we will be back to the chunk picker before you know it. Don't get mad at me. The chunk picker said I had to murder a farmer. All right, that's the only reason I did it. This dude was just minding his own business, and I just came up here and murdered him, and I feel kind of bad about it. But the chunk picker made me do it, bro. Speaking of murdering innocent things, the chunk picker also says I must murder an innocent duckling because I've never done that. And you're not living until you murder a duckling. Everyone knows that. So, sorry, duckling. Have a two. Have a one. Goodbye. Feels very rude. Sometimes chunk picking can be dark. As promised, it would not take me too long to complete Sheep Cheer, kill a duckling, and kill a farmer. So here we are, back at the Chunk Picker, with our fate on the line again. The only thing that has changed since the last Chunk Roll from this episode is we now have access to the Champions Guild Chunk, which surprisingly has zero tasks. There are some stores inside of the... Champions Guild, but I cannot get in them because I think you either need a certain amount of quest points or you need to have completed um, Dragon Slayer. Long thought there. 
I could be wrong about that, but I don't think I can get in there. If I can, there will be some things to buy at the shops that are gear upgrades. And I might make myself buy everything from those shops because those are some of the more impactful shops of free to play. But the trunk picker seems to think that I cannot get in there as well, I believe. So we will find out. Other than that, potential tasks is literally none. So there are no new NPCs there. I don't know what this dungeon is, but I apparently can't get in it. And there is a little mine there. What does that mine have? I don't believe it has any coal. It looks like there is clay. Iron. I already have silver, which I don't have. And tin, yeah, so no coal. Not helpful in the mining department. Hello, update. As you can see, it was just earlier today that I rolled this chunk here so we're sitting at january 17th let's see where we are headed next it's a long roll does it always go that long no no Ugh. Again. Oh, fuck. Well, as I explained in the explanation, this little symbol right here allows me get, to get into the Varrock sewers, which unlocks Brifofida, which in and of itself is not that crazy and Every free-to-play account should strive to kill Briefafida and finish the drop table even, I'd say. But Briefafida drops rune bars. And that is a grind that I don't know that I can do. I will have to give it some thought and I will put some numbers up at some point so that you can understand why that hurt my soul to roll that chunk. But with what I have access to, which is no mithril and no coal, uh, yeah, I can't even fathom how long that would take. Oh boy. 43 chunk tasks though, aside from that issue <laughs> and look at brief of fetus drop table the essence adamant plate body adamant kite shield rune axe rune longsword rune plate legs this is basically best in slot everything for free to play on this drop table so that is pretty sweet i did not know there were zamorak monks down there So in that way, this is really sweet. It is this that we are going to have to talk about. 